Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking the Lego Batman movie and the collectible minifigure series, which was just revealed. And here you have it, guys, the 20 minifigure collectible series for the Lego Batman movie. And this is quite a collection. First, we have the Barbara Gordon minifigure, and she has a really great hat accessory, which has a police hat and hair built in. The print on the uniform is highly detailed, and I really like the arm printing, though I'm not quite sure what this bat logo accessory is in her hand. Next up, we have Catman, featuring a brown version of the cowl. He also has a brown version of the new belt piece, and Wolverine-style claws. The printing on the torso is simple, with three slash marks, and I really like the dual molding for the boots. Next, we have Clan of the Cave Batman. This features a brown cowl with some stitch details at the top, and the print looks really great with that leopard print that continues onto the legs. He's got some dual molding for the boots, as well as details printed on the side of the arm, and his main accessory is a club. Next up, we have Commissioner Gordon, and he's really dressed down with this look. His clothes look quite disheveled with a wrinkled tie, and I really love the highly detailed print for the belt and the badge on the legs. He looks quite angry and has that newer style hairpiece, as well as an accessory, which is a wanted poster for the Joker. Next up, we have Dick Grayson. I really like the print on the torso with that sweater design, as well as those small details of the robins. The jeans also have a pretty nice print, and he has an accessory, which is shark repellent. Next, we have Fairy Batman, which is so unique. Here we can see him decked out in a ballerina outfit, complete with the laced up shoes, as well as a bright pink tutu. I like the dual molding on the arms and legs, as well as all of his pink accessories, including a pink cowl, as well as a pink magic wand and wings. Next we have Glambat, and this one looks like he could join the band Kiss. I really like the rocker details, as well as all the printing on the legs. He's got this interesting shoulder armor, as well as a black guitar. The cowl this time has some printing, with a bat logo over the eyes. Next up, we have King Tut, which looks exactly like he did in the show. The print on the costume looks fantastic, with lots of little details and touches that continue onto the legs. He has two accessories, with one being a snake staff, which definitely makes me want to have a minifigure of Jafar. Next up, we have Lobster Lovin' Batman, and I really like the details on the robe. He also comes with a plate and this all-new lobster minifigure, which looks great. Next, we have March Harriet, and I really love the details on her costume. There's lots of little folds and details, and even printing on the side of her arms. She also has this hilarious bunny headgear, which I just love. Next up, we have Nurse Harley Quinn, and I really love the details of the nurse uniform. She's got a stethoscope, and even that great hat accessory with a heart on it. All of that great printing continues onto the legs with dual molding, and her accessory is a clipboard with Joker's information. And I like how she wrote on it, H plus J. Next up, we have Orca. And I like how this is a painted up version of the shark minifigure that we previously got. The patterns printed on the torso and the legs look really nice, and I especially love how the head detail just looks like a wide open mouth. Next up we have Pink Power Batgirl, which we can clearly see is Barbara Gordon. She's all decked out in pink with a great print on the torso. She also has that new skirt piece and a pink cape, as well as a pink battering. Next up is Red Hood, and this uses the same piece that Mr. Freeze had to create that dome. This outfit looks like a very strange piece of formal wear with the bow tie as well as a suit underneath. In case you're curious, there's a regular Red Hood head underneath. Next up, we have the calculator, and I really love this minifigure. On the helmet, we can see 07734, and if you type those numbers on a calculator and flip it upside down, it spells hello. He's got this big white armor piece, as well as this white pattern that goes down the sleeves, as well as the legs. And on the center of his chest, we've got the calculator buttons. Next up, we have the eraser, and I really love this minifigure because it's meant to look like one large pencil. The head has that pink eraser at the top, and the bottom of the feet have the tip of the pencil, with pinstripes all down the suit. I like how his to-do list only has one item, a race. Next up, we have Arkham Asylum Joker, and this one looks a lot like the one that we got in the Arkham Asylum set, except for this time, he looks a bit remorseful. Here you can see a sweet smile with tears welling up in his eyes, so I'm wondering if this is going to be him at the end of the movie, exactly like the Lord Business minifigure that we got in that series, who was the Lord Business from the end of that movie. Next up, we have Mime, and I really love the details here. The face looks really great with the makeup printed on it, as well as the black mohawk. This punk rocker take on a mime outfit has stripes all the way throughout, and two of these lightning accessories. Next up, we have Vacation Batman, and this one's really unique. He's got a cowl with built-in goggles, a Batman-styled Hawaiian shirt, as well as Batman swim trunks. But my favorite part for sure is this Batman duck floaty device, which looks so good. Finally, we have Zodiac Master. 
and this one looks just like it did in the comics. The costume is simple and has zodiac signs printed on it. He's also carrying a fish and a crab. This is meant to represent Pisces and Cancer. This minifigure series might be the best to date, featuring so many great outfits for Batman, so many great villains, and so many other characters that we're going to love in the new movie. We still haven't seen minifigures of a couple villains that we know about, like Polka Dot Man and Crazy Quilt, so I definitely hope they're coming in a future set. Which of Batman's costumes was your favorite? And which minifigures did you like overall? And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Hook here to learn all about my Lego Dimensions giveaway. And don't forget to subscribe.